Hey everybody, Matt Pridham again with another iSnipe video tutorial. Alright, today we're going to get into a little bit more detail and uh, check out the Compute More button and all sorts of fun things. So let's get started. Okay, so we've gone over this screen pretty heavily. Um, we know what's going on. We know how to change the units here. Uh, this is all pretty good. Let's move on to the graphs. So the first graph is a uh, visual representation of a bullet drop uh, over over distance. Uh, these values are of course uh, multiplied, this, uh, these are uh, inches multiplied by 10 and this is yards multiplied by 100, so 200, 400, 600, etc. And uh, it's just a, a handy little tool to see uh, you know where where your bullet really starts to fall. Uh, in this case we can see I would say somewhere about the 800 yard mark we're really starting to see some significant fall off and then we can uh, head over to the uh, the next graph that shows us our velocity and our energy as a factor of distance as well and uh, again just uh, good reference points here to uh, you know to give you a good idea of uh, if you're hunting uh, you know where ideal kill zones are and how far is too far. The next thing we can do here is we can hone in on a specific distance. Let's go with maybe 600 yards. And uh, we're here at our details screen. It gives us a, a, all of our information here in a, in a heads up display. Uh, we've got our windage value that we need to adjust for on the left. We have the elevation uh, value that we need to adjust for at the bottom. If you choose not to adjust your scope, we have uh, a hold over, hold under picture here. We also uh, give a few other pieces of info here just uh, for, for your sake. Um, you know, how far the bullet has fallen, uh, time to target, and exactly uh, how far we are looking at at the moment. We can also adjust for a moving target here with the slider. And you notice in the bottom right corner here, our uh, feet per second is is changing, and uh, those units rely on the same units as uh, this particular screen. So uh, if you if you go into the settings and change your units, you'll also be changing the units for your detail screen, which is handy as well. The last couple of things to mention here um, on the the lead, if you have are you're playing around with the lead speed here and you want to reset it back to whatever it was you just computed, just go ahead and click the lead box and uh, it'll it'll clear whatever you've entered on the slider down here. And then we have the uh, the MOA button down here, although it won't always say MOA. Uh, if you go ahead and click that, it's going to rotate through the uh, different scope configurations. So uh, this is minute of angle. We can also see this solution in uh, milradian or mil or mrad or milrad or however you like to say it. And then we can also see it in clicks. And, and this is set up for from our home screen. We've said uh, on this particular scope is a quarter minute of angle or 0.25 minute of angle scope. And uh, in that particular configuration, it's going to take 53 clicks to get on target. The last thing to mention in, from the detail screen is that we have the uh, path, velocity, and energy uh, graphs again. Uh, but in this case, we have our specific moment in time highlighted on the graph. Uh, unfortunately, at this distance, we're kind of hidden. So let's go choose a better distance. Let's go uh, 1120. And you'll notice that now the hold over, hold under picture is grayed out as the reticle is uh, not capable of, of you know, just holding over on this particular solution. So we'd have to go and, and actually adjust our scope this distance. But let's check out the graph here. And uh, you can see these, uh, this moment in time is, is nicely highlighted on the, on the graph here. Uh, same thing for the velocity and energy. We can see uh, where, where we are exactly on this slope. And it uh, just gives you a nice visual reference of what's going on here. OK, so uh, that's the detail screen. Let's head back to our home screen and uh, go through the Compute More button here. A uh, few more features that iSnipe can do that uh, perhaps not everybody is using. Let's start with Specify Distance. 
this is a nice one if you've got yourself a rangefinder or if you happen to be shooting at a location or range that has uh, known drain range markers you can go ahead and just enter an exact value in here and skip the uh, the whole output screen there so uh, for example we range our target and it's 387 yards away go ahead and uh, compute that and it gives us exactly what we want to know right now uh, we can go ahead and see that in clicks uh, we can dial it in and we're on target the next little uh, little trick we've got here is calculate distance now you just have to bear with me here I'm on a computer simulator so I don't have access to a camera uh, right now you'll just be looking at some live camera feed but I'm just gonna load a photo in from my photo library here and uh, okay so what we're looking at here is the top and bottom markers and uh, we'll go ahead and move these into place uh, I'll just move the bottom one out of the way here and try and line it up roughly and we'll get the top one in there pretty rough as well and then we'll zoom in and get these in nice and neat now uh, the top marker of course uh, lines up against the top edge of the target and uh, the bottom marker lines up against the bottom edge of the target. Now they don't have to be uh, perfectly lined up underneath each other, they can be offset like this. Okay. And uh, that's probably just one too slow, and we'll go back and zoom this back out. And this target is exactly three feet tall. Now we can enter that here, or we can go in and have a look at our average heights. Uh, we've got a few in here and in this case it's it's one yard so we'll drop that in and lo and behold our target is an estimated 31 yards away uh, this is at the end of, uh, of about a 30 yard range so uh, we're good there uh, we can go ahead and click compute and see the solution for this particular shot and uh, we're into the details screen it works uh, just like we discussed uh, just a moment ago the last little trick and or the compute more menu is optimize point blank range point blank range uh, the def definition is the distance a marksman can reasonably expect to fire their weapon hitting a specific target without adjusting their sights in other words this will tell you the distances at which you can hit your target without adjusting your scope at all uh, it's a little difficult to explain right here, so let's go ahead and compute one, and uh, I'll, I'll get into it a bit more. So for uh, example, uh, let's say we're looking for a 5-inch vital zone. That is, uh, up and down 5 inches. If our bullet hits anywhere inside that 5 inches, we're happy. Um, if we're hunting, we're going to consider that a kill zone shot. Uh, if we're target shooting, we're going to consider that a, a hit on the gong. So let's go ahead and enter 5 inches and click OK iSnipe has taken all of the info that you've entered on your main screen there <clears throat> and now optimized your point blank range. It's telling us that with the information we've provided about our, our gun and our bullet and our ammo and all that good stuff, <clears throat> that as long as we zero our rifle at either 27 yards or 224 yards, again, we're shooting for a 5 inch uh, a target here. So long as we zero at one of those two distances, we'll be able to shoot at that target anywhere between zero yards and 262 yards. So if this target moved, it could go from right in front of us all the way out to 262 yards, and you'd never have to adjust your sights. You'd always hit somewhere in that five inch circle. And if you really want to know the details, it tells us down here at 100 yards, we're going to want to shoot about 2.3 inches high. So this can be hard to believe. So let's do another example. This time, instead of a 308, let's go ahead and load something uh, a little smaller caliber uh, that would have a much more exaggerated trajectory arc. Uh, we'll get a, a, a little smaller value and we can see another example. For example, let's do uh, 22. And uh, we'll just do uh, 40 grain solid 
Um, good old regular speed 22 bullets. And we'll go ahead and optimize the point blank range for that. And we'll say, let's say 5 inches again. Okay, so we can zero at 10 yards or we can zero at 83 yards and that will allow us to shoot anywhere between zero and almost 100 yards without having to adjust the sight so long as you aim dead center on that uh, five inch circle you're going to hit somewhere on that five inch circle anywhere between zero yards and 98 yards. The last thing we can do here is we can choose to apply and by doing that it's going to change the zero distance we have set in iSnipe to whatever the far zero is. Uh, we choose the far zero because it's typically a little farther out and uh, you know, zeroing at 10 yards is probably not all that useful. And if we choose not to optimize our point blank range, we can go ahead and just click close. That about does it for this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.